Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing my latest show here of Guns of Icarus Online. Um, to pretty much, if you never heard of this game, uh, the best way to sum it up is that you pretty much it's a plank of wood attached to a balloon and you have to knock the shit out of each other using massively overpowered guns. That's pretty much to sum it all up. Um, it's pretty much goes in a ste uh, looks like a steampunk uh, kind of graphics. So if you're a fan of that, you'll probably be a fan of the lookout of these uh, of the ships that feature in this game. Uh, so pretty much, what you have to do in this game is take out the enemy team in a team of four, uh, and, and number of ships. It depends. It can be two, two v two, three v three, and sometimes a uh, five v five. Uh, but you have to try and repair your ship as well as taking out the enemy's teams. So that's why you have three different classes here. So you've got the gunner, who, as the name suggests, uh, will be mainly in charge of trying to take down the enemy team members. Um, the engineer, which is represented by this wrench, uh, who has to try and probably repair the ship as uh, much as possible to avoid uh, falling out of the sky and the pilot, which I hate playing as because I'm so bad at driving, I'll normally drive into sand, walls, water, and even clouds. Um, and he pretty much, he has to try and steer the ship out of danger, as well as getting the gunners to try and uh, get a target on the enemy team. Now you don't have to play as a, um, so pretty much say you're an engineer, you can't solely just basically just repair the ship, you can get on the guns, you can take control of the ship if you want to, but it just means, as I'll show you in a bit, um, just means that you get more like uh, equipment to try and repair it with, and the same with the gun, you got more kinds of bullets, and pilots, you got more things to help you with piloting things. Um, so I'll just show you the ships they've got. Um, the standard one here, which is the goldfish, which I am very happily named called Billy Bob Jr. the third. It's a very appropriate name for a goldfish. Um, uh, somehow they say it looks like a goldfish, but in my opinion, not really. It just I can see why. It, I mean, okay, these could be fins, but nah. But this one's typically the most used out of all the ships, I would say, um, because it's it's quite fast. And it's very durable. It's decent firepower, not very good armament maneuverability though, so might be difficult. Uh, it comes with three guns here, which can be customized. So you can change this one if you wanted to, just a double barrel mortar on that side. So that's fine now. And just change this one to say a carronade. It paints a bit like a mortar, I think. And then one gun at the very front, which is a heavy gun. Which again can be changed if you want. Yeah, another ship that's on here is the Spire, which is a massive, tall, pointy thing. And um, this is the best all-rounder, as you can see. It's like pretty much even on all the stats. And this also comes with three guns that can be customized. And they're well, actually four guns. Sorry, four guns that can be customized. Um, you've got the, I don't like pronouncing this name because it's so so difficult. Right, give me a minute. Pyra Pyramidian. Right, I think I got. Um, this one, I've never seen anybody use this. I don't know why, just, I've never really seen them. Uh, it's quite high speed, armor, and firepower. Um, decent durability, but not maneuverable whatsoever. So that might be why nobody really uses it, but it comes with four guns. So anyway, that helps. Um, the Galleon, which is like the master class of them all, comes with six. You can take down an entire country alone with this thing. And seem look firepower full, durability full, and decent speed and very good armor. However, maneuverability non existent. So, pretty much when you're driving this thing, it's straight line only. I mean, that's all you can do. Anything more, nah, tough luck. You can't do it. Um, the Squid, again, how's it called a Squid? Because, oh, hang on, this does not look like a Squid. Honestly, get your get your act together, man. Right. And um, this comes with three guns, and it's very fast. I think it's the fastest. I think the squid, and very maneuverable, but it's very poor armor, and so pretty much you have to do a lot of repairing for this thing. Uh, the junker, which in my opinion actually looks the one most like a fish, because it looks a bit like a carp, like with the belly underneath, the fin there, and the mouth there. Or oh, I'm just talking insane. Probably both. 
terms of five guns, so this one's pretty well held out, and it's again a bit like the uh, Spire, it's quite all rounded. And that's them all. So now, so pretty much you get to choose what you want because they have, when you uh, start a game, you will have one who is regards the captain and three uh, other members of the team. Now the captain he gets to choose the ship and it's his loadout. So if you want to be captain you have to get there first. It's like a first come first serve basis really. So even if you're a pilot that doesn't necessarily mean you're the captain of the ship. You can be a gunner and the captain of the ship. Um, you can customise, as I said earlier, you can customise your roles. So if you're a pilot, uh, oh wait, no, that's a gunner, sorry. Um, you only get one pilot equipment, one engineer, but you get three on a gunnery. Um, for engineer, you get one for pilot, uh, three for engineering, and one for gunner. And for the pilot, you get three the pilot, one for engineer and one for gunner. Um, these again, you can also customise how you look, so I've just got my guy with Nehmen's hat and so I can put like just shaggy hair if I wanted to. And again, goggles, but they're not really goggles, it's like a visor, which I don't count. Um, you've got, as well, you can just choose your scarf, which actually changes the whole thing. It's like, yeah, it looks Victorian. And here, I don't know why, it just looks Turkish. I mean, I may be just being insane here, but <laughs> I think he looks Turkish for that. Anyway, um, so I'll just go to the gunner. Uh, he, well, actually, I'll go to the engineer. Um, so like, you start off with a rubber mallet here, but again, you can change that. And I've got it's this Titan equipment, it's got a pipe wrench and a fire extinguisher. So you can see if I have to battle any fires, I can uh, take them out. So, like, so that's really required because a lot of times your ship will be on fire. Um, you've got uh, the rubber mallet here, which um, is mainly used to repair stuff. But it's not very good when, say, something's destroyed, say your hull is destroyed. It's not very good at. And a pipe wrench, which is middle middle ground, I would say. And the pilot, he's got a spyglass, so it's like a telescope. As a guessing guess, but a lot of people just go with the spy because it means you can point out enemies. Um, the Phoenix, well, I don't really know what any of these do really well because I'm very, very, very rarely a pilot. Um, but the main problem I think is the gunner because even though he's got like you can get to choose out of any of these, they're not really worth them. What you do, so if I go charge around, for example, look, you get fit, plus 30% damage. They get minus 25% rate of fire, minus 20% clip size. So it's up to your opinion. Do you think that's worth it? I mean, personally, I don't think that's worth it. The only one I think that is worth it is the burst rounds, because you get 50, plus 50% explosion area effect and plus 20% clip size. But you get minus 15% rate of fire. So I think that's better. Really, that's probably the only one I can think of. Where the positive outweighs the risks. Because I mean, if I go on the long. Long Naga shot close enough. Um, has a high risk in the experiment round. It's just one round. It does plus hundred and fifty percent damage, but you can't turn your gun. So unlucky, you can't turn it. Minus twenty percent projectile speed and a hundred and seventy five damage to your gun per shot. Now that's gonna destroy your gun like insanely quickly. So it's not really worth it. I mean, in Sendai rounds, plus 10% increased fire ignition, but you get minus 50% projectile speed, minus 30% clip size, and minus 40% rear fire. I mean, how is that worth it? It's just not worth it. So, I don't really change between these. I just don't really see the point. Um, you can just check, uh, you can check, customize your character as well. So, this is a man, apparently. It doesn't look it, but he's a man. And this is a woman, again, apparently, but looks like more like an elf. Really. Um, you can change the skin colour as well. So I'll just leave that my mo my mind was it. Uh, hair colour as well. Blonde, a colour, brown, another colour, grey. Even though it looks like it's white and pink. I don't like that as well. It changes your colour a little bit afterwards after you've changed it. So I go again. See if it changes again? No. But 
and why is this an eye colour? So blue, green. Like, okay, I don't understand that colour. Like, who has eye colour of that? Please, I mean, I'll take, what's it? It's not even a brown. Take, take a red kind of thing. Say like brick red. And then you got purple. <laughs> who has purple eyes? Unless they got contact lenses in. So I don't quite understand that. And then facial detail, which is scars. And just see that it is. So that's pretty much the lookout of what the game's like. Um, you can find out how to play on the tutorials, but they're not really worth it. Because each one's like 30 seconds long. It just shows you the very, very basics. So the best way to do it is just get stuck in the game. I mean, I wouldn't even recommend practice. Because all that practice is, is it's you. And uh, nobody else, just AI controlled grooming. And they, uh, pretty much you just start uh, shooting at uh, stationary targets. So you're not, it's not really much point. So you're not going to learn anything. So the best way to do it, get stuck in get into a match. That's what I would do and that's what I've done and I really enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to do any matches today just just because it's just showing you the game if you've never heard of it. Uh, just check it out. I'll put, post a link in the description below. Um, you can get it off Steam I think now for currently £7.50. I don't know what that is in dollars. I think it's 12 I think. $12. But I'd recommend it and it's really really worth the money I mean it does get uh, quite a few updates to it so like, and, but even though the servers do go down a bit regular at the moment I think they'll stable, they do stabilise eventually but just for the past few days or so the servers have been a bit all over the place but before that it's been working fine but that's just, yeah, just servers are working again because they're just down but I'll check this out I mean it might not be your kind of thing but it's a very pretty game I mean, graphics wise, I mean I haven't got the best computer in the world but it even looks pretty on this. Uh, so just check it out, just check it on Steam, just check it on the website, do what you want. Uh, like and comment, subscribe, anything, uh, if you want to see anything more like this. I'll see you later. Ciao and tara.